In this video, I'm going to tell you guys the secret to getting better at physics. This is how you get close to 100%, if not 100%. Now, what you hear in this video might not be what you want to hear because it's not the easy way out, but I can guarantee you that this works because this is what I did myself. And so I want you guys to listen until the end of this video and take my advice into account and execute this advice. If you do, I can guarantee that your physics is going to improve and you will end up with close to 100%, if not 100%. In order to tell you a bit about my story, I'm not someone who's naturally good at physics in my opinion, but during high school I spent a lot of time to it on it, I dedicated a lot of hard work to it, and I ended up getting the highest score in my country for AS and A2 physics, and I also went on to the University of Cambridge to study natural sciences, I graduated with a first class honours, and one of the subjects I studied during that time was physics. So in this video, I'm going to introduce 13 steps on getting better at physics. Starting with number one. One, dedicate a lot of time to it and care about it a lot. Two, rather than learning it for the exam, shift your mindset to becoming a person who just knows and understands physics. So instead of thinking I am learning this in order to take an exam on it, just think I am learning it to become a person who knows this and understands this. Three, Physics is a subject that is pure and deep. It can't be learned just by rote memorization, unlike some other subjects, and it can't be learned quickly. It's something that requires a conceptual understanding and for you to use your imagination and for you to understand the links between different topics. As a result, understanding is extremely important and vital to your knowledge of physics. Four, physics is not fast. It's not something that can be crammed or rushed. So you need to dedicate a lot of time to it over a long period of time. The reason you need to do this is because you need to allow yourself the time to process the concepts, absorb them, and allow your brain to digest the information and be able to pull it back to be used. Five, in order to best learn physics, it's good to enter something like a meditative state or close to a meditative state where you're extremely focused on the subject. The best way to improve your understanding of physics is to sit by yourself in a quiet room with nothing in it, only yourself, a pen and a piece of paper and the concept that you don't understand. Then you want to be able to persevere until something that doesn't make sense to you begins to make sense to you and you are able to logically explain it to yourself. If you haven't gotten to this point yet, don't give up. If you feel like you've sat there for like a day and you still don't understand it, then go and ask some friends, teachers, a tutor, and consult Google and YouTube. Six, work on your understanding. So always ask yourself why and find yourself the answer as to why. As I said before, understanding is crucial to physics. The limit of your knowledge and the boundary of your skill is determined by the point that you stop asking why. So you need to keep asking yourself and with that process, you will continue to learn more and more deeply. Seven, be honest with yourself. Whenever you find yourself thinking, I don't know, or I'm not sure, or you have that tiny feeling that you feel like you could know this more and you don't really understand it, you need to focus on that and you need to clear that out of the way. So you need to work on it until you are sure and you do know. Even though a lot of people think, oh, maybe this won't come up, it's not really just about that because remember, we're learning it for life and not the exam. <laughs> we want to be able to get to the point where we understand physics fully and purely. Eight, read the textbook from front to back. If you can, read every single word. The more detail that you know it in, the better. A lot of students will think that they don't want to read the textbook or reading the textbook is a waste of time because a lot of information in it doesn't come up in the exam. This is actually true, but it's not really enough in order to do really well to know just everything that comes up in the exam. We need to know more than what comes up in the exam. And what the textbook is useful for is introducing and situating a topic within a wider context. So you know how this topic links with the rest of the world and also with other topics. There's an introduction and explanation and a conclusion and all of these are necessary for you to be able to better imagine the situation that you want to understand. The best way to think about it is to just think about the textbook as a book that you really love to read and keep reading it over and over, absorbing all the small details. Nine, 
understand that physics is a model. What I mean by this is the way that physics started was that someone a long time ago asked themselves, why does the world work the way it does? And then they created an explanation for themselves in order for them to better understand this. 10. Pay close attention to the wording of definitions. Every single word is there for a reason. Every single phrase is there for a reason. The way that it's ordered and phrased is also important. As I was saying before, physics is a man-made model. It's not something that exists by itself in nature, but it's rather like a projection of what humans think projected onto the nature of reality. Because of this, we need to be able to understand what these definitions are and know the definitions precisely in order for us to be able to speak the same language as the physicists. So we can know when they argue something, why they are arguing it the way they are based on the definitions that we are using. We need to all be using the same definitions. 11. Use formulas to help you explain. Formulas describe the mathematical relationship between one thing and another thing. So it will tell us when one thing changes, how does it affect something else? And these are very useful in helping you to be able to explain when this happens, what happens to other things. 12. Practice. Even though understanding is crucial, practice is also equally important. You need to practice in order to help your brain to absorb and use the concepts. Practice drawing the information from your memory because the more often that you do that and the over, the longer the period you do that for, the more the information is going to sink into your brain and the deeper it's going to go. So continue doing that and you will feel like you start to understand it more with practice. 13. Make sure that you have a strong basis and foundation in math. As you get older, physics becomes more and more math focused and math based. Physics and math are very strongly interlinked. So if your math is not strong, you will start to find that physics becomes difficult. Similarly, having a good foundation in math will support you to get better at physics. Those are the end of my 13 steps in order to become better at physics. But before this video ends, I also wanted to say something else. These days, the world is a very rushed place. We're always getting a lot of information, a lot of different content, a lot of people trying to grab our attention and everything is very fast. We are always trying to do things in as little time as possible and get the most we can as possible. But physics is the opposite of that. It's a science that is quite ancient and back when it was created, there was no internet and physicists probably just sat around and stared at the sky most of the time. So in order to become truly good at physics, dedicate yourself to living a slower, more patient and peaceful lifestyle. Eliminate all distractions. And at the end of the day, give it a lot of love, release expectations, and study it with pure intentions. And that is the secret to getting better at physics. When sometimes it might be difficult to put a lot of time and energy into something which you're not sure is going to generate results, trust me and have faith. By the time you get to the end of it, you will be proud of yourself and you will have improved and achieved a lot. Lastly, I also have a year 12 physics CAIE online course, which includes teaching videos by me in which I go through all the topics in the syllabus, past paper question passed by topic, and a definitions list. Past paper questions organized by topic are a lot more helpful to you in your revision compared to poll past papers because you get to repetitively study one topic over and over, which helps you to drill in your understanding of that topic rather than skipping from one to another. The definitions list is also extremely useful and is exactly as in the mark scheme for CAIE. The reason this is important is, like I said before, it's important to know the definitions and the exact wording of them so you can speak the same language as the examiners. If you are interested in getting this course, DM me at Naproud underscore Academy on Instagram to inquire. Lastly, please like and share this video to get it out to more students. Leave a comment below if you have any questions or any video suggestions for me to make in the future and subscribe for more videos on physics, maths, and high school revision and study tips. Thank you so much, guys, and good luck. Bye-bye. See you.